Hey, what's happening guys, PGs here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a network speed meter for your rooms without any root or without using any app. We're gonna make it a inbuilt network speed meter for your rooms, whether you are on KitKat, whether you're on Lollipop, doesn't matter. So while making this video, the, uh, the video is going to be very long. So I decided to divide into two parts. That is part one, we wanna work on the system UI and part two, we wanna work on the settings. As this is the part one, we have to work with our system UI so if the requirements are the same uh, as the previous one you have to decompile your system UI and follow my instructions so without wasting any time let's start the video hope you like it and hope you will understand how this on all this works on yeah. the uh, java editing that is smiley work and hope you guys understand how this smiley creates or creates a connection with the xml files so hope you like the video Hey guys, so here we are. Uh, these are the two uh, smiley files that you need to download. You can download from my blog or, or my website. The links in the link in, in the description. You can download from here. So I'm going to be a quick. So first, you have to decompile your system UI. Here's my decompiled system UI. So what you're gonna do is, and this is my I already written the guide for network meter that you can find on my blog link is on in the description so just you have to f to follow this if you already done that you can skip to the uh, smiley work that I'm going to do in the last of the video so if you are not so then you have to watch the video from here so what's our first step the first step you have to go to your status bar and add a add this code below your alpha optimized so I'm going to add this code in my alpha optimized layout that is my below clock I want my speed meter after clock so I will put in my below, below clock so here's my code for network traffic make sure you save it with control plus s so after you saving let's get to the next work next is where you have to add id so if you don't know where the location location is go to your rest folder go to your values and go to the ids so here you have to add the id with false value so here's your the item type you have to copy this and just paste it so here's your all done now save it okay Next we have to add a dimensions for our network traffic so dimension is the same where the id is so here's my dimension go to your res values dimensions so here you have to add this you don't need to add anything you just have to copy paste you can change the name if you want but you should use the uh, same name as I am using because it clarifies how uh, it clarifies the name so here's the drawable HTML work so you have to add PNGs that you can found from the smiley files here you have downloaded it from my blog I already provide there you will get this zip you have to extract it after extracting you will get three PNGs you have to just copy the PNG and paste in your drawable HTML of your system here here's I gonna paste it so these are the three okay now you have to add a style just copy the full style and paste in the rice values style.xml and here's my style I'm going to paste it here make sure when you are pasting code make sure it will paste on the end not between so it's already pasted here okay next we have to first recon but wait for this first we have to add a smiley files go to your download my providable sm smileys from here just you have to extract the files after extract you will get five files just copy it or cut depends on you i'm going to copy it 
so after copying it you have to follow the creation com android system ui status bar policy and you have to paste it here so when you are paste you will get three network files oh sorry five smelly files for network when you done this step just recompile your apk by using apk tool b command i will recommend it to use apk tool instead of using any multi tools so wait till the process is done it will take some time depend upon your working so when you do it you have to go to your your decompiled apk that you found on the disk folder so you have to you have to rename it just cut it and paste and again decompile it for the smelly work so now you have to again decompile your new apk that i already named from system ui to new ui so i'm going to decompile it again So make sure you change the name before the decompiling because it will may override your UI. So go again back to your uh, smileys where you play this. So open the network traffic dot smiley from the location where we co copied the smileys. Close your previous work. Now just only work with the smiley folder and. In one tab, open the uh, network traffic smiley. In another tab, open the public dot xml that we found on the in the rest folder of values. And so here you find this course. So you have to just copy the code and find the location in the network traffic dot smiley. So you have to just find this by when you find next and it is the code now you have to see what code is indicating so to check this go to my blog where you have already and check how i done so first is used for dimensions that is used for text size that we already add in dimension text size so you have to find the text size in public public type should be a dimension and name should be text size because we already added a dimensions if you uh, go back where we added the dimension if you do not find it go back to your dimension where you added the quotes as you see in the last line you will see i added network traffic single text size you have to copy it and find it in the public smiley sorry public xml so when you find it it will have some id you just have to copy the id and replace with the current id in network traffic smiley so you have to do the steps again and again with the alternate values or the will alternate ids you have to find the you have to find some find from the network traffic network traffic smiley so that so you can easily copy it and you have to replace with your new system ui apk that is new, newly generated ids so next is used for drawable first you have to find the location okay here it is that is used for up down drawable you have to find the public id of what drawable name with we already added a three pngs we have to find the up down from up down you have to copy the name and paste in your public xml so you found the id so this is my up down id so you have to copy it and paste in your network traffic or replace with your just you have to do it uh, steps with all the 
with all the IDs that I provide you these are only five IDs you have to replace it with your uh, system UI public XML's ID just copy it and replace it copy replace and nothing else make sure you don't do it right but if you are uh, facing any problems you can ask me directly from the description link join join me on facebook you can like us on facebook page for all the further updates so here as you see i already do all the things so let's recompile our ui at last So this has been done with the, our system UI work is done. So I'm gonna meet you in the part two where we do some things with our settings APK. We're going to add a new menu for your status for your network meter. We want to create XML files, which is going to be a very long route. So make sure watch. Uh, part 2 for the settings the part 1 is for system UI and the part 2 is for settings just you have so here our system UI work is complete hope you like it thanks for watching guys stay tuned meet you at the part 2